I just been watching you and I just seen you was talking. Um, I know you always talk about high value men, like us women, we shouldn't want a high value man. And I just, well. I say you shouldn't want one? That's not what you say. I'm not gonna put words in your mouth. I don't want you to get mad at me for putting words in your mouth because that's not what you say. I just hear what other ladies get on here and say that you say, but I apologize. Um, I'm a little nervous because I, <laughs> I wasn't expecting for you to it's really okay. accept my request and I'm at work, so. Well, it's me, okay. as a... So, uh, how long have you been watching? I say a few weeks now. What made you decide I just, to start watching my content? I really like, I really like the, the advice that you give on to some women because us women, we really do all think we should have a high value man, a high value man. Have a good night. Um, but some okay. of the things you say do be right. Like, what do I say that's wrong? I wouldn't say anything you have said has been wrong. Cause I know me, I have a attitude and like I can. Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. I'm 26, but I'm trying to be better. I am, I'm changing. Do you want to be? And I want to have Do you want to be married? But right now I'm, I'm a, I'm the oldest yeah, sibling. Too. So I take care of my younger siblings. Um, my no, my father was killed. Was, when your, I was, was your crazy. father in the house? I have three younger siblings. How many siblings do you have? I, I am from Baton Rouge. Are you from Louisiana? <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm gonna say yes. the red stick. Um, mm -hmm. I have three siblings: so, teenage girls, siblings? um, they twins, and a younger brother that's eleven. All right. So you. So you grew I wouldn't up necessarily fast. say I grew up fast because I was adopted. Meaning, okay, um, you, what, what age did you come into the family? Come into the family as what? My mom had me? Because if you're the, old, you're, you're the oldest, well, you I have take care of them now while my mom took is care of them. She's incarcerated. And I've been helping her with them. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I always had a job since I was 16. I've always kept a job. I've been in school. Okay, well, yes. I so you grew up fast. Because, I mean, if your mother's incarcerated and you have the responsibility of minor yes. children and you're 26, you're right. effectively a mother, not a sister. Have a good night. So, have a good night. Um, uh, when was the last time you dated? About a, a year ago. I had a boyfriend about a year ago. What? Um, we was together for how long were you guys together? A year actually. He was um, we got back together. We was together in high school, went a few years and then we got back together and then it didn't work out. I'm sorry. When will your when will your mother be out? Um it's when still I'm released? not sure. I think it's gonna be a few years. But eleven. And how, how old is the youngest? You got seven I'm more years. I'm praying not that long, but if so, then yes. Well, I mean, your I mean, your mother's incarcerated, and mm -hmm. all of it fell on to you. Um, it, it sounds like is there anybody oh, else no, in the family helping? Or helps. Is it just up to you? She does. She helps. They they have a dad, but 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 the children are right, right. They, but but the children reside in the No, the they same actually with live with their father, but they come to me on weekends or I get them on holidays, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm say something say that's it. gonna sound really harsh. Your right. mama had those children, not you. They're not your responsibility, yes. even though you do love them. 26 is your time. And if you decide to sacrifice, you'll likely end up a bitter okay. woman. 
because you've had to grow up fast and step into responsibilities that arguably young ladies should not have to step into. Um, and it shouldn't, you know, that kind of, like it or not, women, mm -hmm. men are supposed to be out dealing with the stress of the world. Right. That's the way it's designed. And women like yourself, young, out dealing with this stress, it overloads you, right. it ages you, it jades you. And what I'm saying is, so if nobody's giving you permission, I'll give you permission. Give them to their daddy. You're not his yes. wife. You didn't make the babies. Give them to their daddy. Right. You're the sister, not the wife. And if it's too hard, give them to their daddy and move out of Baton Rouge. Oh my goodness, that's really what your address. I've always wanted to move, honestly. Cause I'm into the beauty industry now. Now, do you, do you have I have a car? a car. I have my own apartment. Do you have a car? Uh, okay. It's a two uh, bedroom. Is it one bedroom apartment? Okay. Uh, <laughs> sell everything in your apartment except your clothes. Oh my pack God. your car up and get the fuck I out. I must have really need to hear this because I, this really my sibling is what is what's keeping me here. Honestly. Uh, I know. That's why I said uh, go to Dallas or Houston. I, I want. I think Dallas I want to is a little bit more Dallas. up and really bougie. But, but everybody. Yeah, Houston is kind of teach you. Carry your ass on to Dallas. <laughs> go on over to Dallas. Send them a postcard oh, and a Walmart gift okay. card every now and then. They'd be all right. All right. Have a good night. All right, yes, sis. Sir. Bye bye. Live your life. Uh -huh.